Well, welcome back, everybody. Um, and I'm back on the beach. Um, I'm at a new location this time. I've never shot here before. Um, it's not even that far away from where I live. It's just that I've never had the opportunity to, to shoot here until now. Um, I hope the audio is coming out all right. Once again, it's very windy. It is raining. It's that really fine rain as well, so it just soaks everything. Um, but so it's constant lens cloths, um, constantly wiping the front of the lens. So, but I have found the composition that I wanted to take today and I'm gonna run you through it now. Um, obviously I am at low, I, I wanted to get a little bit lower, but um, I, I don't know, there was something about it that I didn't quite like, so I've had to raise it a little bit more than what I wanted to. But um, I've used this old railway line and it, it's obviously it's not a railway line that's used anymore, definitely not. Um, but it leads, it's a nice leading line that goes all the way through the image right to the end. And you've got this old boat, um, just sit, the old fishing boat just sitting there. And it looks, it, obviously it's got that nice shine on it at the moment as well from the rain. Um, I was going to use a polarizer and take all that off. But for some reason I liked it on there. I, I, I did check and I didn't like it, so I took it off. Um, but it's a very simple image. Um, I was hoping there was going to be more mood in the clouds. Unfortunately, um, it wasn't because I was going to do a long exposure on this one as well. That was the shot I had in mind. But there's nothing to, it, it, it's windy, but there's no definition. So it doesn't even look like it's done anything. So it's a simple image, one image. Um, I focused on that and then I focused on that. So I might have to, I've, I've got the option to focus stack it if I want to. Um, very nice simple image and a nice one to start off this morning let's go see if we can find something else there's a few lighthouses over there as well so but lots of old abandoned things here lots of nice foreground elements so yes <laughs> Just before I headed off, I just put my camera back in the bag. The boat that I just photographed is there, but I noticed there's a, a boat. I'm going to see if I can share. It, you, you can't even sit. Oh, wait, wait, right there. And it's so simple. There's no other distractions in the background. It, there's, it's, it's as simple as you could possibly get it. Um, and I absolutely love it. It's so simple that I don't have to do anything with it. I think it's going to be very little editing as well on this one. Um, center, the, making the boat center of the frame, one by one crop, but I am shooting raw so it's non-destructive. So if I want to, I can go back to the original, uh, three by two. But it's, I, all I've done is focused on the boat, F8. I've had to raise my ISO to about 400, which is I didn't want to do. Uh, but I know that this camera at ISO 400 is still good image quality um, to try and get my shutter speed to a, a standard because obviously it is quite windy. And so even though I am on a sturdy tripod, it, it, it's hitting from the side. So the camera is wobbling quite a bit, but overall very nice image and we are getting some nice ambient light starting to come in. So I, I've got, I'm hoping that the shots are only going to get better and better today. Um, but no, another one in the bag and I'm super happy with this one nice and simple which what can I say is, is the best photography for me simple the better right onwards and upwards let's go
right, we're uh, moving a bit further down this way to the beach. Uh, car's back there. Um, we put, there's another old boat that we're just going to check out. Obviously, we finished photographing the one behind us. Um, as you can see, I'm back out with Gary. Gary, say hello. Hi. <laughs> um, Gary has actually got a nice image in the bag today, and I'm not going to lie, I went and had a look to see what he was up to and did the same thing. Um, but it's Gary's image, not mine. Um, I won't be featuring it in this video. If you want to go and check out that image, you'll have to go to his page or his Instagram. I'll link it down below. You'll notice when it gets posted because it'll be a beautiful boat picture. So, um, but yeah, we're just gonna go and have a look this way. Um, this other boat looks very, 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 very old and definitely not in use. So, yes, but so far the light keeps changing all the time. So. It's just, it's gonna be a mixed bag today. There's bits of blue sky showing and stuff. So, but no, absolutely gorgeous morning. Just very, very windy and drizzly. that we just tried to photograph was not really working. We started to head to back towards the car. We even saw this old abandoned building, which I've shown some B-roll of. Um, we were trying to sort of do something like that because it kind of like, it, must be, it had loads of graffiti over it. We tried to make it work, um, but nothing there. So we're gonna start heading towards the car again. Um, we're gonna go and try and shoot the obvious shots that are here which is the two lighthouses. Um, the wind's starting to pick up again. Um, there is some breaks in the cloud. You probably can't see that. Let's see if I can dole it down a second so you can see it. As you can see, there's some breaks in the cloud. So it is kind of playing to our favor today. It's a shame about the weather. It keeps that fine, drizzly, horrible rain. Sorry, I'm trying to Probably try at the same time, but yeah. Um, overall, a really nice morning so far. So, plan for the rest of our shoot is to head back towards the car, see if it's worth driving down to the lighthouses or walking, because um, we're not entirely sure which angle we're gonna get these lighthouses from, purely because there is lots of power lines around here, because we are at Dungeness. So, and obviously the power station is right in front of me and that's where the lighthouses are. So, but we're gonna go and have a look anyway. And uh, yeah, overall loving being out. Nice and fresh morning. actually been sitting in the car for a good 20 minutes maybe half an hour because this massive patch of bad weather came through and honestly I didn't think I was ever gonna get a shot of either one of these two lighthouses today um, but I've managed to make 
an image out of it. It's, it's actually more difficult than what I thought it would be, purely because of the weather. I'm battling with wiping my lens constantly because um, I'm actually shooting into the wind. But what I've managed to do is I've just captured the top of this, uh, this lighthouse and I'm shooting it in black and white. Um, because there's not much detail in the sky at all, it's black and white seems to be the best thing because it's it's actually it looks like it's painted black and it's white so it looks really nice a contrast um but obviously with the edges and stuff with the with the gray background so it it does look like a nice image it's nothing spectacular but i'm really happy with the image that i've got i probably would have taken it like this anyway even if there was a nice big epic sky in the background um so I kind of like this uh, image. It's really nice and simple. We are going to try and we're going to drive down to the other one. We was going to try and walk it. I don't know whether we can actually get to it. There's lots of distractions around the bottom of it. They've put fencing and stuff around it. Um, they do, by the looks of it, they do put off photographers here. Um, I'm not entirely sure why they don't like us around here. By the looks of it. Um, but at the end of the day, I've got a couple of images that I do like from this location. It is very photogenic. Maybe that's they just that, maybe they don't want too many photographers around here. But um, we've actually made a good couple of images today. I know Gary's definitely got one in the bag. He's still in the car. Um, but yeah, I'm very happy with this one. Very simple, black and white, focused on the lighthouse. It's uh, lighthouse. It's lighthouse itself. Sorry, <laughs> very cold. Um, shooting on the 70 to 200, uh, F8, um, ISO 100, and then obviously just expose so you get the nice amount of detail in that um, lighthouse itself. Don't have to worry about the background, there's nothing going on there. So yeah, very simple, very nice. Uh, right, I'm gonna get back to the car now and we're gonna drive down, but yeah, overall really happy with the image so far. After heading down to the other lighthouse, unfortunately it just wasn't going to happen. There was an amazing light coming through the clouds, giving it a really nice side lighting, but the side that we would need to shoot from, there was way too many obstructions in the way to capture that composition. We have had a fantastic morning down here at Dungeness and we really can't wait to return and photograph this beautiful location at different times of the year and different weather conditions. I'd like to thank everybody so much for watching and supporting my channel. Please don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button and hit the bell button as well if you don't want to miss any future videos. But until next time, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you very soon.